so we got some uh, Chick-fil-A in our bellies and we're feeling better. And uh, we got the shipment in from uh, Battery Hookup and we're enjoying this. This is, uh, the Russian is still here, Dennis. He was asking about what's the upper limit on these on the, as far as the voltage goes. Um, I didn't even check. I don't even think about it because he was like, how come you don't want the other type of lithium? You, know, you got to have like 14 volts, 16 volts. And I was going over that. That's actually not true. And I was telling him, even if you get more power out of it, like let's say you have a salt 3K <clears throat> from sundown. The difference between 11 volt input and let's say it gets you a thousand watts and then uh, whatever, 16 volt input gets you 1600 watts. Great. You get an extra 600 watts. That is true. Can you hear the difference? No. Uh, because the difference, the sonic difference, the actual output difference between 1,000 watts and 1,600 watts is not, it's like a fraction, a, de a decimal of 1 dB. It's nothing. So it's a, it's a gimmick. <laughs> and he was disappointed too. So the, look at the, look, the look on his face. Everything I say. Like even even uh, you, you have to have a a, a higher a voltage uh, coming in, you know, like well, your you head also, unit. And, no, well, you but you don't. That's all. That, that's, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. a gimmick too. Yeah, he's learning a lot about a lot of the gimmicks that are um, in car audio, and and he's actually let's do a MythBusters thing, and I'm like, there's already like somebody that does that, and that's basically what Big D Wiz is. He just shows you what it does. Um, there's some aspects that I don't like of Big D was his presentation, but that's that's just my choice. What I you know and uh, would I like to get into a cheaper place and and do reviews like that all day? Of course, I would love to. But uh, right now we got to do what we got to do. So this is for Tanner. Tanner's going to bring his new Chevy truck in, which I think is a 20, 2020 or twenty twenty one Chevy pickup. Uh, here's the three hundred amp BMS that we're going to use. This is overkill, but that's the point. Uh, it was only like. 20 bucks more for the overkill one versus 100 amp versus 300 amp so but they don't show you that side they show you this side on the website but it's got a nice big heat sink on it which is nice so and then we can monitor that voltage as well i'm sure there's a temperature sensor we can add to it uh and then there, i think this also uses their little cpu thing i forget there's an outboard computer you can have and then it has a bluetooth interface with a phone and an app and all that kind of stuff um again that's just battery hookup Again, a lot of that stuff is probably off the shelf. They just know what vendors to put together. And that's why I keep going to the back to them. They, they, they sell some great stuff. Now, I did get some experimental stuff with the extra money. Uh, instead of putting the profit in the pocket, I went ahead and bought a set of four of these. These are only like 60, 70 bucks uh, for a set of four of these. And these are, I think, 65 amp hour. Is that right? I don't know. I'll have to look on the website. But it's, a, it's an affordable alternative to this. So what I don't know, and I want to talk to uh, Mr. DeMuth over at um, uh, Prodigy Audio, who makes um, big batteries for a living, big life, uh, lithium batteries for a living. Uh, well, actually, in his spare time. He, he works for the power company, basically. Makes machine parts for them uh, for his living. But these look pretty beefy to me. So I, I just I don't know if we're going to need compression stuff to keep them compressed or whatever, because I think they swell if you don't do that or something like that. i got to find out what it is. This one just looks like an acrylic case. It's pretty sturdy, uh, but I, you know, you really don't have to do much more than this. You don't have to do like metal or anything like that. So, and then there's the other two cells. And then they were out of the 30 amp uh, BMS. And so I'm just gonna, I found out, I looked on, uh, eBay has a lot of options and so does Amazon. So and you can just get a little 30, 30 amp BMS for like $17. So, and then you do that for this bank and that's one bank. And then you can put all the banks together in parallel they charge and discharge and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you get the right one because those Chinese people, they, put that, <laughs> they put that balancer for everything, BMS for all of them. They go, I don't know any better. Well, it's funny because the way that they look at everything, they just, they, they go, what brand do you like? You know, again, in Chinese accent and they go, oh, you like Rockford Fosgate? Okay. And then they, they're like, they just put the name on it and they go, now it's worth this much. And they go, okay, sell, sell, sell. So, but anyways. Um, but anyways, Dennis is learning more and more about the industry and about uh, all the stuff. Yeah, a lot of lot of tears, a lot of disappointments. <laughs> um, I'm like, oh yeah, that's fake, that's fake too. So, but anyways, we'll we'll do some videos during the day. I think this is his last day here, uh, and then we got some stuff planned. But uh, we'll keep we'll keep you guys in touch. Love you. Bye.